Ever wanted to chop off someone's head? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that with Photoshop. We're going to take this picture here, and we are going to transform it into this decapitated person. Okay, so let's start off with our picture. Alright, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the head. So, the easiest way to do this, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can clone the area. Um, but we are going to use the patch tool. And we're just going to draw around her head. Like so. And then we're going to move the patch to the best area of the carpet. First thing we're going to do is clone a little bit of her arm here. And we're just going to clone this area in here to give her a little bit more of a neck. There wasn't much of it in the photo. That's good. And we're going to go to our burn tool. And we're just going to burn this area here. The burn tool is great for adding depth and shadows. Let's see, it kind of looks like the skin on the outside. So we got to have to add a little white for the bone. Let's go to a normal brush here. Nine's good. I'm just going to add just a slight little white there. <clears throat> now we're going to draw the blood. Go to our red. And if you have blood brushes or anything like that, you can use that as well. Let's make sure we add a new layer. And we're just going to draw a big puddle of blood. You can draw the blood any way you want. That's how I'm going to do it for now. Fill that with red. And fill it again to get the outline. Now here's what I mean by blood brushes. If you have any kind of specialty brushes, anything like that, you can use. So it just adds a little bit of blood there. I'm going to add some imperfections here. Just a couple. Okay, now that blood looks very cartoony. So what we're going to need to do is make sure we're on the blood layer. We're going to go up to Layer, Style, and Blending Options. And what I'm going to do is going to give it a slight drop shadow. Just make it look like it's not as flat. And Bevel and Embrose. I'll give it that that popping up look. No, I don't like the contour. And a satin overlay. Darken it up a little bit and make it so it's not as cartoony. Right, we'll stick with that. And we already got our look. You can play with this as much as you want. Um, add more filters, anything. Make the blood look a little more And I'm going to put this right here in the blood. But what I'm going to do is so it doesn't look like a flat text there. If any of you watched my other videos, you're going to know I did a stencil style text. And that works great with what I'm doing now. You're just going to add that inner, inner shadow. Give it a little depth. And then that satin overlay. Or not. Looks good without it this time. So hit OK, and it looks like someone's kind of sunk into the text there. 
Alright, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Nice, quick, easy, cool outcome, great picture. You can find more tutorials like this at photochops.com.